What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here. So I've been playing about every day recently. Uh, so I've been racking up the golds from all the quests every day, and um, played some Gauntlet over the weekend. I did okay, but I'm not sure why in the profile the Gauntlet win stays at like null. Um, because I definitely I got like six wins in a Gauntlet and five wins on a Gauntlet over the weekend, so I'm not sure why has zero there. Maybe this only counts when you get to nine wins. It gives you one like full gauntlet sweep win. I don't know. Um, but it's strange. So I was also playing a lot of uh, just normal ranked in games and I got to level 11 or level 10, whatever the highest level is for every faction. So that means I unlocked all the basic cards in the game. I got a, uh, I got a a uh, spirit orb for each faction that I went up in so I got some more cards to work with and now I basically have a deck for each faction um, and I also went ahead and used my s extra spirit to craft some staple cards like Songhai I added uh, for example Scarlet Vipers and go a couple of gore horns so now my decks uh, are slightly better but my really only good decks are probably still Lionar and uh, and Vitruvian, but now at least I've been I've played with all the factions, leveled them all up to 11, so that's good. And today, uh, I know I leveled up both Magmar and Vanar, uh, not in a video. So I guess in this video I will play with Magmar and Vanar. Um, so you guys just just see me play those factions, um, only factions I've not played yet on YouTube. Um, so I guess I'll play a match here and then I'll play a match afterwards. And the July season is coming to a close. It's going to be August in about half a week. And I think then August season in Duelist will start where everybody's uh, ranking will go back to 30. So it's going to be fun to get back to zero again. And now I have some pretty good decks and versatility to do so. So we're going to play against Cow Basher. He's Vitruvian. Um, I'm going to kind of like this. I can play two drops, two cards in my opening hand. I'm going to get rid of the healing mystic because really not much to heal on the first turn of the game. Uh, yeah, I only have these Veil Hunters here because I have a lot of, uh, the Primadoral Gazers and that one cost spell that increases attack and health by two. So I have just a lot of ways to get the Veil Hunters more powerful. And like I said, my Magmar deck is far from complete, so I'm not going to put this right behind in case of Blast. So I'm missing a lot of like really strong staple cards, like I only have one Mackintore Warbeast, I think. Uh, pulled that from a pack. Like, you know. So that's the going-ons with me and Duelist. What's he gonna do? Feral Obelisk. And he could also play another two drop. I was lucky he didn't have anything to play in turn one. A lot of times Vitruvian doesn't have anything to play in turn one because I think Vitruvian decks tend to run less creatures than most. So, just makes sense if uh, they end up not having all they can play. Uh, so how much damage can I put on this? One, two, three, Four, and then I need to use this for the five six got it and that means I don't think I can reach the top mana spring that would be impossible right well actually if I play yeah no it's gonna be impossible oh well so I'm just gonna be playing the Parmadoral Gazer this turn I'm going to get rid of the rock pulverizer here get another earthwalker okay so I'd rather make I'd rather make uh, you a little stronger. And now I'm going to destroy this obelisk. Oh, now I'm in a row for that. Oops, didn't mean to go in a row for blast. Well, at least now I have a three-four range unit. And maybe I actually should have kept the two-drop rock pulverizer because I see the way I positioned I 
not able to get to this mana spring uh, very easily, so it looks like I might only have five mana to work with next turn, so uh, I might not be able to play this much longer. Okay, so yeah, because of that guy, I can't get up. I do have a greater fortitude, so I can make this even stronger, deal five damage to that. I don't mind that. Um, hmm. Is it possible for me to get up there? I can move my general up two, and that is means I have to destroy this first. That's not gonna happen. All right, let's toss an Earthwalker. Natural selection. Um. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll go like this. So I'll make you stronger. So Natural selection destroys the minion with the lowest attack. So, lowest attack right now is this guy with one attack, but I'll increase his attack to three so that I can now natural selection. Um, and unfortunately, I can't reach the mana spring for a second. I thought I was able to play the Earthwalker, but uh, looks like that is not going to be possible. I'm just going to move into the corner there, put three damage on you, um, move here. I'm going to move here and here. So I'm just going to get out of any kind of last. And may as well just sacrifice this guy for two damage out of general. Okay. So far, so good against Cow Basher. Another natural selection. Uh, and anything with two attack or less would be a fodder for the natural selection. And I got a Dire Tide Frenzy, which. As uh, the name suggests, you get Frenzy, and you also get one plus one attack. But that's really nice on when I get like a Saber Spine Tiger, I can get like a Pseudo Mackintore War Beast. So, not really uh, useful against guys that are like have a lot of units on the board, but right now he just is his general. There's a Repulsor Beast, probably going to get rid of my Provoke guy. Where's he going to put him? Bottom left corner? Got it. And he's probably, yeah, he's going to use this. Plays a Doomcaster without uh, using its ability, because there's no Dervish on the board for him to buff. So that's fine, I guess. Um, <laughs> let's see, so... Start moving you in. Or... I think I just want to clear his board, right? And I want to play unit as well. Well, if I have nothing... I'll get rid of the opening, the dampening wave. There's not really a lot it's doing strong knockback damage to me. And I have a Mac and Zora War Beast. I should probably just play that, right? Yeah, I probably should. So I will just. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's not like amazing for the situation, but it's perfectly fine. Oh, I probably... That was kind of stupid. I really... No, I'm just going to go face. I was thinking I probably should have uh, used my general to destroy the Dunecaster and then used the Veil Hunter to hit that general because then I'm getting one extra damage in the general and one less... And actually, the same amount of damage taken by my general. But then I decided, you know what? He's at 7 life. I have a 23 life. Uh, I think I'll be able to win the game. <laughs> and I have rush units in my deck that I haven't drawn yet. Dancing Blades... You know, I'm always so torn if I want to put that in one in some of my decks. It's a really nice five drop. And I do have, I think, three of them. Uh, that's his whole turn, so can I win? Uh, is that going to be possible? Let's see. I'm going to get rid of a... I'm sorry, I can deal a lot of damage. But now I'm going to get rid of it. I, I don't think I need all that. Well, I can get you to 5 attack, and that's going to be game. So, let's bring you to 5 attack. So, then I'll put 2 damage on you and finish you off with my Veil Hunter. So, really, Veil Hunter MVP that game. Um, yeah, stay on level 11 with all the factions. Vanar was the last one I did. First one of the day, very nice. And yep, that was about 10 minutes, so we have time for another game. And this time I'll play with Vanar, uh, the other faction I've not played on my channel. 
So, I Vanar deck. I have some Frost Synergy in there. Um, a couple epic cards, a couple, like I think a, one or two legendaries. I got like the legendary where you summon four. I got out of a pack, I got the legendary where you summon four uh, zero one walls with provoke. So that's nice. And then I also have a bunch of those like turn turn your minion and turn any minion into a 3-3 three, three, or the card that turns any minion into a 4-4 four, four dragon thing. So I like to put all those walls down and then make them into actual creatures. Uh, but I think if I had to choose, I think Vanner might be my least favorite faction to play. It just feels a little, I don't know, clunky. I guess this is the dragon thing aspect of the drake. Uh, looks like I'm going to get rid of those two things. Um, the hearth sister can be good on turn one or whatever he puts down. I can switch places with it and destroy whatever he put down. Hopefully it has two health for my general to destroy. And then I also have a cryogenesis for later. It's a nice four damage to put down. And then I have frost fire, which gives plus three attack, maybe plus three health. And, hmm. I'll get rid of the frost fire here. Bone chill barrier. Well, but now I can play the bone chill barrier. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play the cryogenesis. Uh, I can't destroy that guy. If I play, if I play the hearth sister, you're just going to get pushed somewhere. What I will do is stop you from taking any of these uh, mana things. That's good, right? No mana tiles for you. And I, I want to play the Hearth Sister. But I'm not going to really attack it with my general. Do I have to? Let's just play it as a 3-2. Yeah, I'm just going to play the Hearth Sister as a 3-2. And I'm going to play it right up in his general's business and we're gonna not do its switch places yeah so it's not very clear but you you can bypass some opening gamut things uh, just by clicking uh, skip in, instead of choosing whatever it wants you to do so if he wants to trade with me I'm perfectly fine with that okay but he's gonna start with the general so I do put three damage to the general at least and now Looks like uh, he could move down to with his wind blade and then place a unit to grab that mana spring. My turn, I did draw a Fenrir Warmaster, which is a really nice value unit for Vanar. Pretty uh, typical for all Vanar decks to use. It's basically for three costs you get two three threes because when it dies you get another three three, so it's pretty good. Um, now I have some options. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use a Cryogenesis though. I want to get rid of this 4 attack without having it deal 4 damage to my general. So I'll put Cryogenesis on you. I'm going to get rid of the Frostfire. Ooh, Aspect of the Fox. Now, now, that's actually a really good, oh no, but I only have 4 mana. That's actually kind of rough. Um, hmm. If I play Aspect of the Fox, then I can play that too. Yeah, so you know what? I'm actually going to... First, I'm going to grab this. So it comes into play ready to attack. So I'll move down. I'll trade with this thing. So goodbye. And then I'm actually going to put two damage on you. And I'm also going to put down this guy. So next turn, I can play the Cryogenesis to finish off the Silver Guard Knight. Unfortunately, now he gets to put some damage on my general if he wants to attack. Or he can destroy this Spinner and Warmaster, but he would die then. I also got a Crystal Wisp, which is like a, when it's destroyed, you get more mana. Not sure what happens when you, it's destroyed when you have uh, already 9 mana. I haven't really tried that yet. And then some bone chill barriers, which I played on turn one. You already saw that. Summon three. Join zero two frost walls. Okay, so he is going to attack there. Which means I'm hesitant to use the cryogenesis. But I think I want to keep it. 
Not sure if another bone chill barrier is right at this moment. Kind of want to save that for when I have one of those uh, frost guys that deals two damage to enemy minions when a frost unit is put down. So I'm going to replace this and watch. I'm going to get one of those guys. Nah, avalanche. You have four damage. Alright, that doesn't help me right now. In that case, I think, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to do the cryogenesis. I don't really have a better play to do. So, goodbye, sir. And I will take out your Tutu. Okay, see, now I get a Glacial Elemental. That is what I want to play in combo with the Bone Chill Barriers. So then I put that down, put that down for 5 costs. I'm dealing 6 damage to his minions. So I got a Snowpiercer which uh, will let me even out our general healths, but I'm not sure if I can get a chance to play it. I might want to play just the powerful high hand if he has a lot of cards in hand. Um, well then again, Lionar has lots of dispel, so maybe I don't want to play- well, I mean all factions have decent dispel. If I play this high hand now, I do get this ultimate high hand. He has six cards in hand, so this becomes a 8-9, which is really, really good. Really, really good. And I don't really have a better play to do, so yeah, let's do that. Doesn't look like he's going to be on my side anytime soon, so I'm going to toss this avalanche. And another cryogenesis, which I can't take advantage of this turn, so it really is actually a good turn to play the high hand. Uh, let's keep moving in with our... Warmaster. I will. Hmm. I'm gonna move up and play the high hand. I don't want to be in attack range with his Sun Tide Maiden because I don't know. You could have like a double Divine Bond up his sleeve. I'm fine with having this high hand here because whatever attacks it will take eight damage. Hopefully it's not dispelled. Yeah. So. 8-9 for 5, I'll take it. And now I got a Crystal Cloaker, which is a Frost minion, so I could play that uh, after I play the Glacial Elemental and deal 2 damage to a minion of his. Random, so not that reliable. Got another Avalanche, probably going to be replaced. Because basically what Avalanche does is, if I was able to lure his units to my side of the board, then I would play this and everything would take 4 damage, but... Looks like I'm being more aggressive on his side of the board, even though I have less health in my general. Uh, still this Crystal Wisp, but it looks like it's really good with Crystal Wisp for really in the early game, so you can get like a step ahead of your opponent in mana every turn. But now it would only help for a couple turns, I think, because I don't think you go higher than nine. So Crystal Wisp probably has to turn if it's usability okay so he does have he does have divine bond and that's actually really bad oh no i forgot that does get destroyed so he uses the divine bond to destroy mine i destroy his so i'm fine with that yeah i'm completely fine with that and that's his whole turn so nothing none of his minions are on the board so it's not like i'm gonna play glacial elemental like or crystal cloaker here i'm gonna replace the avalanche like i said i probably will do and Wow, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go crazy. I think I'm gonna go double snow piercer. That increases my attack by four. Because I mean, I guess I could play Crystal Wisp, but I'm already at this high mana, so I don't think it's that worth it. I think it's better to just double up. I use the whole turn to take out my unit. I can really be aggressive here. Yeah, I don't think uh, he's too happy about that Newton N T W N. I don't know. Here's the Emerald Rejuvenator. A uh, really solid neutral card for a lot of decks. Just put it down, heal by four. So, that might be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so he's probably afraid to hurt me now. I have ten attack. He plays Emerald Rejuvenator, so that's uh, a bit of a problem. He plays War Surge to make that slightly stronger. True Strike. I mean, that probably wasn't really necessary. I'm getting rid of that, but... I guess it hurts me slightly in case I were able to top deck something that can turn that into a minion, a attacking creature minion. 
Uh, can I destroy this somehow? Let's get rid of the Crystal Lisp. Razorback can get you 5 attack. Or I can play Cryogenesis and bring you down to 1 health. Cryogenesis... I only have 8. I wish I had a 1 drop thing here because then I could destroy that. I only have 8, so I think I'm going to have to... Okay, it looks like I'm going to play Razorback in combination with Emerald Rejuvenator. So I will play the Emerald Rejuvenator. And then I'll play the Razorback. So now I have a 6 attack Emerald Rejuvenator and a 5 attack War Master. So I can destroy that Rejuvenator and I get a Ghost Wolf of my own. And I almost forgot to attack his general with 10 attack. And he's down to 6 health and he's surrounded by my minions. Looks good guys, looks good. I also have an attack buff for next turn, plus 3 attack. So yeah, it looks like uh, maybe just be giving up. Yep. So we got two wins in this video. I'm not sure if I could say that for a lot of videos. Most videos I feel like I win the first one, lose the second one. But I got two wins with the video. I'm pretty uh, happy about that considering I played um, probably my two newest decks, Magmar and Venar. So I still have uh, more to learn, more cards to collect, and a new season of Duelist is approaching. So... Be, uh, be on the lookout for all that new stuff on my channel coming soon. Uh, stay subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't already and want more content. Like the video if you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Keep on dueling, duelists.